Do you remember your first year in league basket? I don't really remember. I don't know. Maybe that's something wrong with me. I don't remember. <laughs> You're a shooter, but they say all shooters have short-term memory, so that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> what up, EuroLeague fans? Welcome to another edition of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. Today, we have a very special guest coming all the way from Basconia, my guy, um, one of the best my opinion, sharpshooters and combo guards. I'll be coming combo guards in EuroLeague. Arturis Corix. What's up, man? How's everything? Hi, everybody. Hi, Kyle. Thank you for having me here. Um, I'm very happy to be here, and uh, I hope we have a good time. Oh, man, it's going to be a great conversation. So first of all, I've got to start you off with an easy question. Growing up, um, for people that don't know, you have an older brother. Um, so growing up, who was winning the one-on-one -on -one battles? Him, because you know, in, in, in such a young age, two years advantage, that's a lot, you know, your high and like, like your body, you know, difference. Yeah. So he was lucky that he escaped uh, early, you know, to the state, <laughs> so I can't take his ass back. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to ask. So, when was the last time you guys had played one on one? Like, probably 16, 15 years old, you know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, how is it, you know, having an older brother? Um, like you say, you guys are two years apart. But having an older brother that is going through the same things that you're going through, um, you know, is it is it able to, you know, you're able to call him for advice or, you know, how to, he can help you relate to certain things? Yeah, actually, that's a very nice and that's a huge advantage if you know how to use it, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's always one step ahead of uh, me, let's say, in a basketball career of the level and everything. So it was always nice to talk to him, you know, and ask for advice uh, of the places he already have been through, you know. So for me, that was huge. And uh, I really appreciate this opportunity, you know, to have older brother who is, uh, you know, uh, helping me to, to make my path, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm the older brother. My younger brother used to play basketball, too. Um, so I, I, I get it, too. I get it. I'm a, my younger brother was always calling me for advice. And I mean, I was always gladly to help him out as much as I possibly can. Yeah, that's nice. Now we're gonna stick with the family. Stick with the family theme. Um, I read that your grandfather was an early influence, you know, on on you, you and your career. So, you know, what type of things did he teach you from an early age, and how are you still using those today? Uh, I think mostly he's, let's say, I would say he's uh, mostly specialist in the shooting uh, mechanics, mm -hmm. you know? and uh, he was our coach until we went to the to the different clubs, you know, until we leave our hometown. He was around 12, 13 years old. And I think his role in our career was huge, you know, because he keeps following us. He watches every game. He gives me yeah. advice before and after the game. So that's huge. And uh, for me, until the day, he's a huge motivation for me to keep playing basketball, you know, and uh, to do my best. Is he still, like, you know, calling you now? Is he still, like, letting you know, like, you know, if you play well, if you play bad? Like, how, how hard is that, like, you know, to separate the, the grandfather between the, the coach? Uh, with him, it's very easy. You know, he's not... Like, uh like on you he know he knows us so well you know he's a coach with the little child so his um psychology is nice you know so he yeah. understands when, when you're frustrated and he needs to apart a little bit and at the same moment he knows when you have a good game he can talk a little bit more about bad stuff you know when you're more yeah. in this kind of stuff so he's always with us always uh, on the phone you know and before and after every game he's uh, contacting us that's great. Now, now I'm gonna mention some names: Scola, Calderon, Pajoni, Singelia, and even your your, your country, your your uh, your fellow countrymen, Latvian, Bert, Darius Burtons, have all you know started their careers um, at in Basconia. Um, so, what does it mean for you, you know, as a young player, to you know go to Basconia and go such a go to a, such a historical club? Uh, for me, players like uh, you know Scola and Splitter who grow up here, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a huge motivation, you know, because you know that the way they, they made their, their way to the professional career, uh, it was starting like uh, young players growing up in the same club all the time, you know. So for me, that's huge. Uh, when I came here, I start to know the history of the club. Mm -hmm. I think it's important, you know, where, where you are, you know, and uh, know everything what happened in past. For me, that was huge. And... Uh, you know, it's just like extra motivation. I know these guys, they were growing up like me as a kid, you know, they came here and now they're uh, big, big time players. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, Biscogna has, you know, so much history and so many players. Now, EuroLeague is the highest level, you know, basketball, you know, in the continent of Europe. Do you remember your first EuroLeague game? 
And how do you feel? Like, you know, what were kind of like the situations? Like, you know, I think it was versus Real Madrid, if I'm not mistaken. But do you remember, like, you know, kind of the circumstances? And then how did you feel, like, you know, playing and playing in your first game in your league? I don't really remember, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, you know, you know what I, I don't remember. Uh, I, only thing I know, you know, uh, when I debuted in ACB and EuroLeague, yeah. uh, I was playing this, like, last minute of the quarter, you know, when the game is already decided. And it was just, you know, like for me, like something special, you know, just to be on the yeah. court, this kind of big name players, you know, and to see how is everything. But it's not the real game, like if yeah. they put you in the middle of the game, you know, when you can feel this real like contact, the, the you know, the energy of the players when they press yeah. you and everything. So I start to feel it more last year since it yeah. was my professional career. It was totally different than the, the game when I debuted, you know. But still, it was an amazing feeling, of course. But I'm telling you, I don't really remember how was the game. <laughs> That's a good thing, then. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> they say they say that you're a shooter, but they say all shooters have short-term memory. So that's probably why. That's, why. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great excuse for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, ask you about your memory still, but do you remember your first year league basket? Do you remember your first shot or do you remember your first score? I don't really remember. I don't know. Maybe that's something wrong with me. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. I mean, like I said, I mean, you have no caution. You just keep, just keep shooting, keep shooting, Mr. Bay, Mr. Bay. <laughs> I'm just doing me. <laughs> now you played with, you know, some really great veterans in your career. Um, when it comes down to like asking for advice, you know, who are some of the veterans or who are some of the people that you that you talk to or, or you know, look for, look for uh, to help you out during your time? Oh, for sure, it was uh, Tornike Shingelia. Yeah, it was one of the main guys who like helped me all the way. Uh, you know, when I was there as a young player. Uh, then Marcelino Huertas was also like huge, huge, huge guy who could help me with the advices. And right now, Jason Granger. You know, I already mm-hmm. been him before when he was in Basconia, and this year, amazing. You know, he's always next to me and uh, giving me good advices. Now, so you're very young and you're just starting your your professional career. Now, if you had like, you know, some type of magic, you know, fortune telling or something, you know, magic machine prediction, um, you know, what are your goals and where would you like to see your career when you're like an old vet like me? That's a great question. I think uh, like everybody else from the from the guys who are growing in the club, I think that's a dream to stay there, you know, and to bring the, the titles, you know, being on the court, playing there, you know, and helping the team uh, with your skills, you know, to win together. So I think for me, that could be the goal. Like, I really like this city. I, I really like this club. Uh, I have a girlfriend from here. We just get married. Some, oh, sometime. Yeah. congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, so I feel like I'm really connected to this place. And uh, I would like to keep, uh, you know, defending this jersey of uh, Basconia. You've been part of, you know, uh, ACB title. And you've been part of, you know, some other, you know, glories, you know, uh, that the, the team has had. But what do we mean for you? You know, as a first team professional, you know, everyday rotational player to, you know, bring glory to, to the club of Basconia. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's amazing. When you know you you being every day in the same gym, in the same city, you know, yeah. doing the same exercises. And when you see it, like, uh, you get achievements for that, you know, you're getting like payback with the cups and everything. I think that's the yeah. best feeling, you know, for European player. And I think for you even more because you, you know, essentially grew up there. So it's like yeah. you, you kind of essentially grew up like you started your career. So I'm sure it would be, you know, an incredible, amazing feeling. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I never been a big fan of sports, you know, I never yeah. watched sports and basketball and stuff. But uh, when I arrived to this club, it's uh, it's became like my work, you know, like profession. Yeah. And I started to get more into this and I really like the history of this club, you know. So as, as if I get deeper to this history, more I start to like this club, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Now we're going to go into the quick shot questions. Your favorite EuroLeague retired player. Hmm, it has to be quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing comes to my head right now. <laughs> uh, okay, next question. We'll say me. I'm not retired yet, but we'll say me. Uh, uh, <laughs> when you retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. How did you celebrate when you signed your first pro, pro, pro contract? Did you celebrate? Nothing special. Uh, I was still very young. I was 15 years old. We probably yeah. went to do extra exercise with my grandfather. He's very, very strict guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he signed your contract and he was like, ah, let's get up a hundred more shots. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, EuroLeague arena to play in besides obviously your home arena? Uh, Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce. 
Yeah, yes. Me too. Me too. Very nice. Like, the style is very similar to the NBA with the chairs, you know, like being yeah. in the early set. I really like that. Yeah, I mean, the atmosphere there is amazing. The fans there. I mean, if you're, it could be on the good or bad side, but I mean, it's always, it's always yeah. a great atmosphere <laughs> to play in. You mentioned your grandfather, but I want to ask about your other family members and your and your friends back home. Um, you know, how how proud are they, are they of you? You know, being that you are, you know, playing at the highest level in your league right now. Uh, a lot. I feel support every day from my family and friends. Of course, uh, being so young and leaving your country, you lose the connections with some friends. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the like, uh, you know, negative things about leaving so early. But uh, overall, it's very good, and I feel very proud of my family. You know, with the time they invest in me and everything, and it's basically paying off, so I can help them now. You know, that's that's amazing. Absolutely, man. That's what matters the most, man. But I just want to say thank you. Wish you best of luck on the, you know, the, the rest of the EuroLeague season and the rest of your career. Like I said, I mean, I think you have a, a very, bright, a very, very bright future. Um, and like I said, I mean, I look forward to, you know, to watching from afar. Thank you, man. Same to you. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. EuroLeague fans, that's it for a quarter with Kyle Hines. I'd like to appreciate it. Thank you all, everybody, for watching. Tune into our next episode very soon. Bye.